Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? I don't think I've got enough light here. I'll have to walk away from my car here for a second getting better light. I actually drove down tonight because I was running out of time, so I didn't do the walk, I just drove down. <clears throat> so anyway, I want to talk a little bit, uh, people notice I changed the, the, the channel name. I don't know if this is enough light either. Um, from Federal Web Services to EOS San Diego, which I believe is a more appropriate name for what we're doing right now. So from now on, we'll be EOS San Diego. And uh, we got some really good ideas coming up, some really good things I'm going to talk to you about in the future. But uh, I'm not going to be a block producer. I'm not interested in that. But we have some other things going on that we'll talk about in the future. But I uh, can't find any good light here. I hate the light where I look yellow. Uh, so anyway, what I really want to talk about tonight is, uh, of course, he, uh, changing the channel over to EOS San Diego because that's where we're located at. Uh, also, that if you want to reach me, I don't really talk about myself. That, well, I do talk about myself, but I don't really talk about myself in name. My name is Kent. And if you want to reach me, it's at, uh, uh, at EOS Kent on Telegram, at EOS Kent on Telegram. That's how you get a hold of me. Um, so what I really want to talk about tonight is I want to talk about what, 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 what you're really buying when you buy EOS. Uh, I think there's a little bit of misunderstanding about what people are buying. A lot of people think that when you're buying EOS, you're buying uh, the software, the Block One software, uh, and and that's not what you're purchasing. In fact, I think the Block One software was actually developed before they ever decided to do EOS. I think the Block One software is something that Dan Larimer had in his brain prior to EOS even uh, Block One and EOS even getting together. Now, this is an accumulation over a long period of time, over all the years of of him working on block, block, uh, blockchain. And this is kind of what he's come up with, is this uh, software. And the reason I say that is because they have a specific launch date. And as everybody knows with software, especially if you've ever developed software before, it, 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 sometimes it isn't a matter of money, it's just a matter to, of, of technical skills to get it launched and know what you're doing. And I think he was pretty confident in the June 1st launch. Uh, June 2nd launch, uh, I think he's pretty confident in that, and that's because he already knew what he was doing, and he already had the software ahead of time. So, so um, what you're buying when you buy the EOS coin, the EOS token, is you're buying, you're becoming a miner. You're buying, you're becoming a miner. You are a miner. You're buying the mining rights for the EOS platform. You're buying mining rights to become a miner. Technically, you're a miner as the other proof of work platforms are. So you're the miner, you own the mining rights, you are the trusted party for the blockchain. The community that owns EOS is the, is the trusted party for recording the information on the blockchain. The block producers are the workers. They're the ones that are doing the work, but you are the ones that are the miners. You're, in the, so to speak, a miner if you own EOS. Because those rights to mine on EOS are being uh, are, are, are being sold as they raise money for the token. And that's the reason why they did a year-long token. Because the year-long token was being done because they wanted to make sure the community was widely, uh, 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 widely dispersed. It wasn't concentrated in a few hands because these are the tr this is the trusted party that is entrusted with the information that's being laid on the blockchain. So what you're purchasing when you're buying purchasing EOS is you're basically buying buying those mining rights, those the right to be a miner. But you're not being a miner because those are already predetermined by EOS on what it is that they're they're offering. They're offering you the mining rights, the, the ability to be a miner. But you're 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 the community and not really the miners. But that's what you're buying. You're not buying the software. The software is block one, open source. So the software is actually an open source software that anybody can use. And as Dan Lormer said, there will be other chains running this software uh, that, that um, are, are doing it freely. So you're not really buying or you're, the money that's been raised hasn't been going to, to block one. It, it's, it hasn't been gone going to finance this project. They already had that done. They knew what they were doing. The money being raised is actually the real estate. It's, it's the, it's, it's. You're the trusted party of putting the information online. You're more or less like the miner in Bitcoin. You're more or less like the miner in Ethereum if you own this, this token. So that's what it is. You're, and that's why it's been a year-long process. That's, it didn't get raised quickly because 
they were smart enough to know that they wanted to be able to trust everybody that bought this token. And it wouldn't be just a few people owning the token because then you would have a biased community. You don't want a biased community. You want an unbiased community. You want to spread out among a lot of people. That's why it becomes honest. The more people you spread it out among, uh, the harder it is. It's like the uh, Byzantine general thing, 51%. Uh, you know, you need 51% consensus to do anything. Well, that's why they spread it out over a lot of people. It'd be really hard to get 51% in a lot of people. So it's a very trusted, very trusted way of putting information on the, on the blockchain when you have all these people. So that's that's very technically sound way of doing it. So I just, because I hear people make the mistake all the time that they're thinking that the money's going to block one. It's not going to block one. You know, block one has a stake in this because they have 100, 100 million shares. But they they don't have a they don't you're not buying anything you're owning the community and that's separate from block one. Uh, so the other thing I want to talk about a little bit tonight after we cleared that up, I want to talk a little bit about EOS being uh, the Wall Street of Internet. Uh, I, I mean I, I I said the other night that I think EOS could be a world currency reserve, and some people kind of like, oh my god, or you know, laugh out loud or something like that. Well, if you think that. I'm exaggerating. Just look who they hired as their C C O O. You know, just look it up. Who the C O O O of uh, of uh, of uh, Block One is, and you'll start to understand where I'm going with that. Uh, but the other thing I'm talking about is I'm talking about how EOS could be the the the, the, uh, the Wall Street of the Internet simply by the fact this is the perfect platform to sell securities on. Uh, a better platform than Wall Street. Uh, Wall Street's an inefficient platform for selling securities, made up of market makers and made up of computer trading and made up of a lot of things that really um, are very difficult for anybody to participate at, 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 a, at any kind of level at all. Not, 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 not you know, it's pretty much made up of, of uh, 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 Wall Street bankers. Everybody knows that. By doing securities on the Internet, it's a much fairer way of doing it uh, it, it records the information a lot more, uh, a lot easier, and without any kind of, um, with any kind of disruption, and without any kind of question. So selling securities on, on blockchain is really what blockchain was built for. I think like a Wall Street uh, platform would be perfect for, for the blockchain. So I think blockchain could be, Wall Street could be run on the blockchain and it could be run on EOS, uh, specifically with the fact they have the, uh, the, the speed to do it. So. I'm calling EOS the Wall Street of the Internet. Uh, that's going to be the title of this video. Um, so, like I say, a lot of great things coming on. This is really exciting stuff. When you think about world currencies and Wall Street all being run on EOS, this is, uh, this is fascinating stuff. And the fact that as an as a owner of the platform, as a miner of the platform, as a trusted uh, party in the platform by owning the platform, uh, you have an interest in all that. You have a, a, an interest in all that. So uh, this is uh, this is really good stuff. Not to mention the fact that my experience is always things start to really accelerate about launch time. So we're just a few days from launch. As with IPOs, initial public offerings in the stock market, ICOs, everything focuses on launch date. So launch date will be coming up very soon. Block one has been very silent on any announcements. They're very, very, very sad. In fact, the only thing I see in Block One right now is just making sure that the, the, the platform's secure uh, and making sure it's gonna run smoothly, not anything else. No announcements, no what's running, gonna be run on the, on the platform, anything like that. Uh, no dApps that are being, you know, everything's being very, very quiet. For good reason. There's always a time where you wanna be silent because you don't want things to get messed up at the end, especially when they've been done, done everything up to this point that's been uh, pretty sound. And I haven't had any issues. So anyway, uh, very, very interesting stuff. I think it was Dan Lerner that said this, that there's a di difference between the software that runs Wall Street and Wall Street. And Block One would be the software that runs Wall Street. EOS would be Wall Street. That would be that would be the exchange. So what do you think? All these things can be run on EOS. All these th uh, the, the exchange, all these different securities can be sold and traded on EOS. In fact, I think a perfect platform. Uh, the recording of information, the, the, the time stamping and all that, you could certainly run a stock exchange on ES, and I think they will in the future. So, anyway, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Mike.